and welcome to Avalon Meadows, your uh, YouTube channel for RC Aviation. Uh, tonight we're going to be talking about uh, connecting the uh, FPV components. Uh, it's really part of the uh, quad build uh, over here. Uh, and this is an extension. Now I have done other videos uh, dealing with um, uh, how to wire up uh, the FPV with the uh, OSD. Uh, the, with the video transmitter right, with the OSD and the GPS. Uh, that was a while ago and uh, it really focused in on really just using a single source of power, a uh, one three cell battery for both your plane and for your uh, uh, video transmitter equipment. Because we're moving into larger batteries and as you can see there's uh, a wide arrangement of, uh, of components necessary to do FPV and they all require different voltages. Uh, we're going to be looking at using uh, multiple power sources uh, in this video. Uh, we'll uh, start by looking at uh, some of the things that I try to do. The one thing I try to do is I try to segment my FPV components into one area. That way I can transport it from one aircraft to another. Uh, and how I do that is I use a standardized plug scheme that I've kind of created for myself. Uh, first, I start with my uh, power plugs. It's the I use the XT60s uh, for all my power. Um, off my um, uh, my ESCs, when I buy my ESCs and put my plugs on, I put a second plug on. The XT60 is on there, and I put this other plug, which is called the HXT, the two millimeter plug, and I use this as an alternate uh, source of power or as a monitoring cable. We're going to talk about that in a minute. On the quadcopter, I have in fact installed uh, onto the Q-Brain uh, the uh, HXT 2mm as an alternate power source and we're going to use that uh, in this video. So today we're going to be talking about uh, powering up our uh, video using um, a new variety of cables. Now along with the uh, HXT cable and the XT60s, I also use the JST plug, okay, uh, it's a plug that I use often, the JST, and uh, this is not to be confused with the uh, HXT, um, uh, the JST XH, which is found on a lot of your batteries, the two, three, and four cell uh, JST plugs, not to be confused with this JST plug, same name, I think it's a manufacturer's name, uh, but this is a, a, a JST XH plug. Uh, depending on the size of the uh, lipos you're using. I think those are uh, uh, the main plugs that I use as well as the servo plugs. I use those a lot. Uh, I don't use the uh, EC3 plugs, these little blue plugs, or the Dean's plugs. Uh, very popular. I don't use them. I don't like them. Fire uh, this up. Okay. And then we're going to go back and review everything we needed to do to make this all work. So let's fire this up. This is my monitoring system that I use uh, for ground uh, as my ground station. I'm waiting for my new goggles to come in. They're on back order from Hobby King, um, which is so sad. Uh, I don't have my uh, fat sharks anymore because I was going to more of a, of a generic system so I could buy the receivers from, I'd like to put more receivers and more equipment and I didn't want to be stuck into one manufacturer. So I'm going for a more of a diversity type uh, multi-channel goggle. Uh, uh, and I will review those once, once, once I get them. So uh, powering up my, my system and now I'm going to uh, power up my uh, video transmitter. I also use a voltage regulator to clean up the signal. I, I mean I'm not a purist. Uh, I can deal with a few lines on my video but uh, these are available. They're inexpensive uh, and they, they do provide a, a more reliable power supply um, and I uh, can use the JST plug on my battery uh, and plug it into the unit. I can use uh, the two cell, three cell, or four cell. Kind of a handy little uh, uh, item because if I'm using a battery <coughs> on the uh, aircraft, I have all the connections I need to make it work. So uh, handy. This is a Fat Shark product. I haven't found this from anyone else, so uh, definitely, uh, definitely something to look at. So we have the system powered on. Uh, we need a camera. I use, for my camera, all my cameras, uh, I have the board camera and I have the Mobius. 
Uh, and uh, what I use is I use the uh, uh, JR or servo plug uh, with, uh, with the yellow for my video and my power, my black and red. Uh, and I'm just going to uh, use my uh, uh, Mobius camera to uh, show you how everything gets set up. And then we're going to uh, talk in detail in close up how everything works. So let's plug this in and you can see that the uh, over here the uh, camera is working fine. Uh, we have everything connected. I'm using my Mobius camera. Everything is here uh, on the screen. And what we're going to do now is we're going to talk in detail how uh, that all gets connected. How uh, this gets connected to uh, this unit. Uh, and oh, the one thing I haven't done yet is I haven't powered my uh, uh, GPS unit. So I'm going to uh, power that up now. And that's where I'm going to be using the... Uh, I'm going to put on my adapter. And I'm going to take 5 volts from this battery. I'm going to, I have, what I use, because I need 5 volts, I could plug this directly into my transmitter. Uh, but that means, it could mean a lot of fiddling around inside the aircraft, trying to find out where this is located. Uh, like I said, I try to keep everything as autonomous as possible. Uh, and um, that's why we plug, oops, making sure that... Everything is good. Making sure everything is good. And you can see that, well, we obviously don't have any GPS signal when we're in, in the basement uh, of the house. Uh, but you can see that everything is powered up. And in order to get my 5 volts, I've used uh, a, simply a UBAC. Uh, attached to the, to the power, which gives me five or six volts output that I use to power the GPS. Now we're going to talk in detail as to how I got this all put together uh, because it looks it looks a lot like a spaghetti here, but hopefully I'll be able to explain everything in detail uh, and maybe give you some alternatives. Like I said, I won't I will, I will try to give you uh, other ways that you could do it as well. Uh, I'll show uh, the way that I've done it though. As promised, let's look at this uh, configuration in more detail. And we're going to start with the basic configuration. I'm going to remove the GPS. And we're going to start with just, we're going to start with the video transmitter. And the OSD. I think most people now use an OSD of some type. And you notice that on my labels, I mark the voltages for each of the devices. Uh, this is um, how I keep everything straight because it's it can get very confusing. And if you do it wrong, you're, you're gonna you're gonna damage some equipment, and then it's not gonna work properly, and you're not gonna know why it's not working properly. A lot of times, putting in too much voltage will uh, damage the circuitry. So we have our video transmitter, uh, and right here we have um, the video that goes in to the video transmitter, and this black and red are, is the video out, the audio, the power out. Uh, supplying the power in, I'm going to be using um, uh, uh, just a, a three cell battery for this demonstration. And as I said, I'm using a voltage regulator, and I'm just gonna plug that in using the JST uh, connection. Remember, that's the JST-XH, not to be confused with the, uh, uh, this JST plug. So now we have the power going to the transmitter, transmitting on channel 22. The power then leaves the video transmitter, and I have a yellow line, which is the video in. This, these black and red are power out, the yellow here is video, uh, video in, and this is the same for most of the most of the units you're going to buy. There's not that big variety. Some of them will have sound on it. Uh, this doesn't, so you can transmit uh, sound and uh, video and sound with the unit. So in order to plug it in, I use um, standard servo connections. I then plug 
my uh, OSD into any, either one of these, doesn't matter. Um, and uh, it's not powered on yet, but we'll, we'll get to that. And then the other uh, module we need to look at is the camera. And for this demonstration, I'll just use the board camera. The board camera on my quad. Here's the cable, here's the cable that's coming from the board camera. And notice that there is a servo connection or a JR connector, a JR connector on the end. Um, ignore the camera, it's on a tilt, I'll, that's for another video. I'm going to put this over here, I just want you to see that this is coming from the camera. And we simply plug this into the video in to the receiver. And now we have uh, the two video sources uh, <coughs> going into the um, going into the uh, unit. Uh, I'm using the power from the <coughs> the camera works on 7 to 12 volts. I'm using an 11, 11 volt source so I'm using the power from the this battery through the uh, transmitter to power up the board camera on the quad. Now notice that the OSD is not on yet although I have power going that's a secondary battery power and I have the video out that's coming from the OSD that moves into the transmitter and the images overlay. In order to power this board, I'm going to use the uh, what I mentioned earlier. I'm using the XHT uh, connector, uh, the 2 mil connector, and I'm going to use this connector to power the OSD because this will display on the screen what the voltage of the battery, of the flight battery is of what the flight pack is. So I'm just going to put that on there and you can see um, uh, which powers up the OSD. The reason I use this plug again is just to make sure that I on my on-screen display I'm going to know what the battery life is uh, on the unit when it's flying. Uh, video out, secondary power. And this is coming from the uh, quad and this is coming from the quad. So far these are the only two connectors I need from the quadcopter. Now let's move on and add the uh, GPS device. And the GPS, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I have to look at the connector. GPS is right next to the video. And I'm going to plug this in, making sure that I respect the ground. And plug that in. And you saw that working before. <coughs> the GPS but there's no power to the GPS. This is only 5 volts. And for that, I'm going to be using a, the UBEC that I mentioned earlier. I'm going to plug the UBEC into my XT60 plug on my flight battery, on my um, FPV battery, and plug it in, respecting polarity. There's no light on this uh, GPS, so uh, it is on. So that's the full configuration this is the flight pack battery here that I'll be using, either a 2-cell or 3-cell, either one works, which then goes to the voltage regulator, uh, which then goes to the video transmitter. The video in signal split in two, one goes to the camera, one goes to the OSD, respecting the voltages as I move along. I power my OSD from the power pack on the quad uh, so that I will know what my uh, voltage is on my on-screen display. And finally, I connect my uh, GPS, and I use a UBEC because I only this only operates on five volts, and uh, I plug that into the uh, XT60 on a flight battery. That uh, respect uh, the voltages that you need to run. Uh, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll be back soon with a video on how to uh, access, um, get the gimbal working on the KK2. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.